Hello Capricorn and welcome. Thank you for tuning in. This is going to be your December horoscope tarot reading. We're going to use some oracles and we're going to jump into the tarot. And this will be a collective general reading in love for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So we're going to go ahead and begin with the Moonology after we just came through that huge solar, solar eclipse in the sign of Sagittarius. It was huge. Now Capricorn, it's going to play out a year and a half for every zodiac sign. So that is something I did pick up for knowledge. This is going to be Capricorn, I feel. Let's just say... Take a deep breath because December is going to end off the New Year's here with Venus coming into Capricorn. Venus is going to be retrograde in your sign. So that's lovely. That means there's a sign of a rebirth that's going to be taking place for you. This is going to play out in the next year and a half here. But for four months, this could be looking at your relationship sectors. Um... Are they compatible? What changes are going to be necessary for December? So let's give one more shuffle and we're going to see, Capricorn, what we need to get out on the moonology. What is the message for our lovely Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? This reading will not resonate with all of you. Keep in mind, check out your moon signs. You can check out your ascendant signs. Okay, Capricorn. Yes, a new romantic life, a new romantic life cycle begins, new moon in Libra. So I have um, a dear friend of mine who is a Capricorn with a Libra placement. Hello out there, sending you tons of love, Cher. I miss you, soul sister. So anyways, this is where balance is going to be coming in December. I love it. This means there's going to be a level of love coming in. Someone here who is trustworthy with Libra moon sign here. It means your relationship scepter, I can't speak. Relationship is sector is going to light up. This is the house of partnerships, the house of relationships. This is equal give and take, balancing, righting the wrongs. Libra also represents justice. So there's going to be justice here is what I feel. And you're going to receive something here that's fair. It's going to work in your favor. This is balancing the scales. And it is time to take action. New moon in Aries. So you could be um, having an Aries moon sign or a Libra or be dealing with these people. It could be a Libra or an Aries that's going to be significant here is what I feel Capricorn. And you will notice my new tarot deck. We're going to go ahead and clarify the reading. I love this deck. I've been having it on my wish list. It's the Tarot Grand Lux by, I believe you pronounce it, Cairo, um, Cairo or Cairo Marchetti. Yes, my speaking is not all there. I feel like Mercury is involved here big time in this reading. I want to go ahead and before we, dip, we get the tarot, I want to get out the epiphany. So, you could have something to do with communication is needed here. Um, a throat chakra, wanting to open up, wanting to speak to someone here. But I feel you could be having a throat chakra blockage here. Um, with Libra energy, Libra represents air. So it's like something is in the air now where it's taking place in December where things are going to be, um, it's like... An energy here of bringing fairness into into the situation wanting that fair and square balancing partnership here and willing and able to take action because Aries represents that energy of Mars the masculine energy here telling me you're going to go ahead and push forward um, you could have this placement in your chart let's see what the epiphany is for Capricorn. Capricorn, it feels like it's a good time to take some time off. A time here to travel. It's good for your soul. I feel that you could be planning a vacation, planning a trip right now. Um, looking forward to this time here. And there's a coffee cup and a camera here. So it's like get ready with your camera. 
um, get ready here. You could be taking a, a vacation, a trip somewhere here that you're loving the trees, I feel. I feel you collect pictures here. Your one here that's looking at this leaf is, is standing out to me with the camera. So it lets me know you just need to take time out and smell the roses. Get in touch with nature here. Be surrounded by the trees. It's time for you to take a little time off Capricorn is what I feel. I feel because there is a, there is a crossroad here. You could be stuck at a crossroads here, meaning there is a choice, I feel. I feel that there's an indecision, there's a choice, there's something here that you're not yet seeing here, and Spirit's advising you to take a little vacation. Get out into nature. I feel that whatever this is here, it's like blocking your emotions right now, but trusting in your intuition here is what I feel in the situation and partnerships right now. And at the bottom of the deck here, think the impossible, the unexpected. Okay, so someone here could definitely be having a baby. Someone here could be giving birth. Pregnancy is what I'm seeing. So for some of you out there, I, I feel. Now that's Venus. Venus to me is definitely in the sign of Capricorn going to be making a decision. For some of you, it could be planning a pregnancy for some of you. And healing the heart chakra. Yep, there's a great healing that's needed here. I feel there's a there's a need to open up your heart to receive that cup of love for yourself. So there's a need for self-love. Reflecting on healing here is needed is what I feel here. I feel whatever this is, it's good for your soul to take time out right now to heal over a partnership where there was unfairness here. I feel right now justice is finally coming in here to balancing the scales in a situation. Someone here that you were stuck at a crossroads with. Someone from your past. Fairy tales do exist here. So it feels like whatever this is, it felt like a fairy tale. It felt like this was something here that could have been an illusion. Someone could have been kept keeping you in an illusion. Yep. Not your typical love story here. So it feels like someone definitely was married here. Someone here was in this, this connection with a lover here. Could have been for some of you here. And I feel that there could have been definitely a decision here where the two of you are in a separation. And it's time to heal this connection for some of you here. This could be a partner that you were married to. Choosing the right path for us now so yes there's a there's a big healing that's taking place on some a connection here that i feel that you have a deep soul bond to and it feels like this person here there could have been someone here that was very um controlling someone here that could have had a power play in this relationship for libra moon sign to come out here and with that action card aries energy there could have been a domineering energy taking place and this could be like I'm feeling flip the scripts if you need to, Capricorn. I feel this is the type of person that you were dealing with. Someone here that it's my way or the highway. And you're kind of going through this energy now where Libra plays out this, this, this cycle in December. Where it's going to bring in fairness now. Someone here could have been definitely very domineering this relationship is what I feel. So let's go ahead and shuffle. This is for Capricorn. December 2021 Capricorn December 2021 we're going to do a revelation tarot reading for the lovely sign of Capricorn for December let's see what their overall energy is what is the situation in the relationship in general for Capricorn what is coming in the near future that Capricorn can't yet see what could be the challenge or the obstacle in this connection? What is the advice from the Holy Spirit? What is the outcome or revelation of this reading? So let's go ahead and... Okay, Four of Swords. So right now, Capricorn, you could be taking a little break. Um, air energy, once again, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. 
a time here to take a pause. It's like taking a pause, breathing here, meditating, praying. But yet right over your head, it's like when you go to sleep at night, you're praying for this, this healing to take place here. Um, because the Three of Swords, I feel there was a betrayal here. That's right over your head here. A feeling of healing now after a heartache is what I feel. Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Show me, Spirit, please, what is the overall energy here for the sign of Capricorn for December? Mm -hmm. It feels like definitely trying to find that inner peace is needed. That's why Spirit says planning a little vacation right now. Trying to bring fairness in and balancing the scales in a partnership. Yeah, Page of Swords, more air. So it feels like right now you could be very restless. You could be definitely checking someone out here or someone's doing this to you, Page of Swords. This person here, I feel, is someone here that could be younger than you. Someone's acting childish here. Someone's spying on you here is what I feel, Capricorn. This person here is like Inspector Gadget. There's definitely someone here investigating. They have their eye on you here is what I feel. Yeah, and there you go. Aries with the Emperor. Yeah, and Five of Wands. Oh, okay. So there's definitely like this World War III taking place here is what I feel. With the Emperor coming in in Aries, your energy overall right now is there's a masculine energy here. There is definitely something to do with Mars. So it feels like there's a lot of conflict taking place right now. There's tension in the air here is what I feel. This is fighting to be heard. And there's a lot of people here that are involved is what I feel. I feel this is definitely um, a, plot, a plot twist. There's something here, a significant message that could be coming to you right now that's presenting itself to you here. But let me tell you, Capricorn, these people are no good, is what I feel. I feel this is someone here where there is an energy here with Mars coming in. These are cheap, um, jealousy people. This is cheap talk. That's what I wanted to say. I'm hearing cheap talk or um, very um, cold-hearted energy. These people have no, no emotions, no heart. There's no heart in this emperor here. Someone here that is sabotaging disconnection. Someone here that has a power play and authority. This person here is um, disagreeing with you at this time, bringing in a lot of arguments, a lot of conflict is taking place, Capricorn, right now is what I feel. I feel this is taking place here with a masculine energy, an emperor. This could be a father figure. This could also be someone here. This could be your husband. I feel there's definitely a father figure here that's in this connection. Someone fighting to be heard, wanting another chance, wanting another opportunity here in a connection with someone here that just doesn't want to surrender. This person here is definitely wants to argue over this connection. It feels like whatever betrayal was here, this is petty argument. These are jealousy. This is something here that's competitive is what I feel this new beginning. So let's see what we have. What is the situation? Well, the situation that you're in right now feels like it's very unfair. And I was feeling this Mars energy coming in with Aries. This person wants to take action. And it feels like they got a lot of people involved. You got a family involved in this argument here. You have other people that are petty arguments. These people live for trouble, very petty. It's like whatever this situation is, is a soul connection, two of cups. So you're in a marriage or a partnership is what I feel. Yes, there's Libra. Let's get one more card. You're in a soulmate connection here with this person. And I feel the situation here is there could be a, a divorce. There could be legal uh, issues here. There could be a plot twist where someone here is calling a lawyer. Someone here is dealing with justice system. <clears throat> yes, Six of Cups. So there's a karmic cycle that's here that's finishing out with the world card is what I feel. I feel there was an injustice with someone here from the past, Six of Cups. It could be that the past returned here, the situation that you're dealing with, a soul connection, something here that's over and done with, okay, with the world card coming in. 
this is a cycle here that has definitely had um, some time here is what I feel. I feel five of cups and Pisces. There's the timing. So there's been a restriction. There's been a suspension here. I feel someone here is at a deep loss with this five of cups. It feels like someone definitely has been in suspension, restricted here. Someone here that did not make a change, Capricorn. Someone didn't make a sacrifice here and they're regretting it is what I feel. Okay, with the world card. Something ended here, I feel, definitely. A cycle is finished here with someone from the past. So let's see what the near future is. What's coming in? Something here that Capricorn can't yet see. The full card, okay, Aries energy. Uranus, so someone's about to take a leap of faith here. Someone's on their own here is what I feel. Yeah, a lot of drama that's taking place. Knight of Swords. Whatever this is in the near future that you do not see, I feel there is something here that's definitely coming in where it's going to be something moving very fast. Someone's coming in here very reckless, wanting to communicate with you is what I feel. Rushing in in the near future. One more card, please, for Capricorn. Yeah. Knight of Wands. Okay, so now you have two knights here. So it feels like there was something here that was taking place in the near future here. Okay. It feels like there's two people here, Capricorn, that you have. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, and could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. One of these people here you were married to, Four of Wands, in a partnership, I feel. I feel, but this Knight of Wands for me is someone here in the near future where you have two people coming at you. It feels like someone from your past, someone here that definitely has a plot test. This this person here has no ties, this Knight of Wands. They come in really quick and leave. They're the player. So this is a player boy or a player girl that's coming in. The Knight of Swords is someone rushing in to communicate here. There's a lot of drama is what I feel. I feel about with the full card here, you're about to take a leap of faith here, is what I feel, Capricorn. And it feels like this person here that's coming in with, with all this drama here is someone here who's very foolish. There's someone here who's very foolish, made a mistake um, in a marriage, and it feels like this is not yet over. This is not done. There's something here that's, that's finishing out, is what I feel. So, let's see. This person here comes in for cheap thrills. It's like a booty call. I feel that this person here is, is let's see. Let's see what's coming in. What's the challenge here? Yeah, somebody here must be exhausted from all of this game playing that's taking place here. It's like someone here has gone through um, an energy here where this person here that lives, lives for cheap thrills. Yeah, tower moment. Scorpio. This is the challenge. The obstacle. Page of Pentacles. To recover from a break up or break down. So I feel what's taking place right now in, in Capricorn. You're going through a big change here. That's Scorpio energy. Mars and Scorpio experiencing a tower moment, a huge divorce, breakup, ending that's here, and how to rebuild the tower, five of swords. Someone here wants to fight it for, wants to fight at all costs. You have a lot of um, mental um, energy here with five of swords showing itself. Let's see with the tower. Someone here that's plotting against you is what I feel. Lots of people involved in this reading. Mm -hmm. Lots of family, lots of people, jealousy is here, envy is here. You're going back and forth is what I feel, Capricorn, two of pentacles, on the truth. The truth is in front of you is what I feel, ace of swords is at the bottom of the deck. I feel you're not seeing something with that stuck at the crossroads coming out, two of swords. Two of pentacles is, is a need to find balance with what's going on with the obstacle that's at hand here. You could have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn in your chart also. You could have water. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces, or a heavy Libra, 
a heavy Aries. We have a heavy Aries and a heavy Libra sign here. And it looks like the truth is is definitely going to be coming in. Whatever the challenge is, it's the, tr the, the truth is the challenge. And this is where you move forward. It's like the truth will set you free with the chariot here. Willpower, determination here for a restart. Something here that you need to rebuild. Something that you're going back and forth on. It's like, should you rebuild this tower moment? Should you bring in this balance to this connection? You're going back and forth, I feel. Spirit's advising you, take some time out, is what I feel, if you're stuck at a crossroads here. Because the truth is what's being blocked from you. The advice, what's the advice? What's the advice for Capricorn? Yeah, karma is playing out lessons that are being played out here, is what I feel. And I feel this new romantic cycle could be something here that you want to go for now, Capricorn. It's like you want to break free from this mental conflict with this person here. And you're ready for a passionate new beginning. Yes, Spirit says you know already what to do. You're the high priestess. The two wisdom towers are between you here. And it lets me know with the moon at your feet. You're highly intuitive. So you are the high priestess here. You're someone who's very psychic, Spirit says. You have um, the help here of your spirit guides that are protecting you. It feels like whatever this is you've gone through, okay, behind that veil, it's like you know what's the truth here. You know what, what's going on behind the scenes here in a situation. And Spirit is saying, trust your intuition. Listen to your guides. Because you're be, you're giving messages here is what I feel. You're in the knowing and the chariots at the bottom of the deck. There's an energy here of going forward, moving forward with the with the with this energy is willpower, cancerian, determination, moving out of a town, relocating is what I feel. There's a there's a feeling here of wanting to take a leap of faith forward. So let's see. What is the High Priestess's message here from the Holy Spirit? What is the message? Yes. Our last reading is there was a third party situation. This is a karmic lesson, Spirit says. You've gone through hell and back here is what I feel, Capricorn. So this is Capricorn, Saturn energy, the devil here. There is toxic energy here. You're dealing with dark magic here. This person is using black magic is what I feel against you here. This is someone here that you have a karmic connection with is what I feel. And there's something that's very heavy. This person here had obsessions here to sexuality, third party situations, playing around. This is like someone here that definitely cheap thrills. Definitely, they, there's chains here on this person. So I feel that they have toxic behaviors. There's something here where this person could have addictions, too much drinking alcohol, too much doing something here. With the devil energy, it's a plot that's being done here. And Spirit says, trust the red flags here. Because someone here, it's like the devil used this person like a pawn to try to rob and steal your peace and joy. It must be exhausting to lose your own game. You can't play the victim this time. There's mental and physical abuse that's being taking place in a connection here. And I do feel there's dark magic here that's being used. And Spirit saying this, that's why justice is coming out twice. It's an ending of a karmic cycle here. Mm-hmm. And I felt, it's like everybody got to pay their dues here. There was a lot of jealousy, a lot of gossiping taking place here. Someone here wanted war, is what I feel. What's the outcome? What's the outcome for spirit? What's the outcome for Capricorn? Knight of Cups. You have three knights on the table so far. It's like, this is new love that's coming in. In the near future, it's saying, move forward. Pick up the pieces here and rebuild. 
self heal like heal your heart chakra here it's like a, a definitely energy someone drained um you very badly capricorn is what i feel <sighs> knight of cups cancer scorpio or pisces yeah work on self-love work on spirit saying in the near future the outcome is if you truly want a loving connection here where you're willing to put the work into this connection here is a lot of self-healing. It's a very charming energy. Move towards new love. Spirit says someone's coming towards you here, Capricorn. So you have a new romance that is willing to put the work in. This person is not show, not coming to you yet. This person here is what I feel they could have water and earth. Virgo, significant here. Um, Taurus, Capricorn, or cancer scorpio or pisces this is someone here that wants to bring in romance love to you yes queen of cups the nurturer okay there you go so i feel capricorn this person right now is taking a break from you is what i feel this four of swords is someone here is definitely shielding their heart and trying to gain inner peace this person here is someone here who is a healer this is queen of cups this is an empath this is someone here that i feel this is you so i feel you this is self mastery whether you're a woman or a man it's like this new love that's coming in here is going to be very healing it's going to be someone here that's bringing in compassion loving energy romantic nurturing this is someone here that definitely gives from their heart to a situation very loving, very kind, very generosity, a lot of generosity here. This is someone here that's calm, cool, and collective. And I feel, I feel, I was just going to call you Cancerian. I feel Capricorn. This is where the work is. It's someone's coming in with a very loving offer to you. This person is no lie here is what I feel. It's like the moment has come when true love comes to you, Capricorn. And this person is willing to put the work in here. This is someone who's very educated. Someone who's quality over quantity here. This is someone here that's not going to keep up with the Jones. This person's very focused, very detailed. This is someone here that's coming in to master. They're a master at healing. They come in with opened emotions opened heart here so i feel very charming new love cycle begins for you capricorn and that's why spirit saying take a break right now clear your mind um whatever this is this feeling of recuperation relaxation rest rest and replenish for the new romantic cycle that will begin for you is what i feel this is balancing partnerships here i feel it's time to take action on a new partnership something here that is more fulfilling i feel that spirit is moving you away from something here that was very karmic is what i feel so capricorn let's go ahead and get and this is here, getting you on the right path. Taking time out is what I feel to realign you. Making a wise choice of choosing which is the best path for you and your person here. So let's get a wisdom of the oracle for Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus to end this reading off for December. So the challenge or the obstacle could be is... There's an imbalance that's taking place that you're going back and forth on. And it feels like this is a new opportunity. Um, moving towards that full card, which is taking that leap of faith. Taking action with the Knight of Wands here is what I feel, which is something that you're going to be very passionate about. It's like very adventurous energy. Um, someone here that... You definitely feel like there's an energy of flirting. Someone wants to, is flirting with you, Capricorn, is what I feel. And if you, the Knight of Pentacles is not here. So it lets me know this is no longer slow movement. This is something here where this is about to happen quickly. 
I feel you have love offer coming towards you here. A very genuine love offer. New love. Yeah, a leg up. Yep, a leg up. Number 34, which reduces to a seven. So a cycle completed here. Three and four are master numbers where things will start to work in your favor. Four is a number of stability. Moving towards a stable, loving connection is what I feel towards um, December. Yeah. Let's get another card out. Yeah, the tribe, number eight. Infinite uh, possibilities are here for you, Capricorn. This is connecting to a soul tribe. Connecting to like-minded people. Um, I'm seeing a giraffe here. And I see a polar bear. So it feels like things are going to be starting to come towards you. Bringing in this more compassionate, loving energy is what I feel. With this Libra card and the Two of Cups here, you do have a connection with someone here that I feel when I'm looking at these two cards and the soul connection, you have a past life connection with someone here, a very um, strong past life. And it says breathe. Yeah, I did hear this one. Number 29, breathe. Nine is a completion of a cycle. And two is a number of um, soulmate connections. Two is a number also of a decision here that needs to be made and you need to just breathe, relax, recuperate before this new start. Something that's gonna make you very happy, Capricorn, number 26. And you have new keys here. New keys, this could be new keys to a new loving relationship, new keys to a new home. After the tower here is what I feel could have bring, uh, for some of you here, there was a breakup in a home situation. Something here, movement is here, is what I feel. It's like, make your move. Your breakthrough is arriving. All you need to do is rest and recover. It's time to heal your heart chakra here. So we're going to put the rose quartz on this card here for you with the tower, okay? That your healing here begins. So it's a lot of self-healing, a lot of working on this new beginning, a new romantic cycle that's coming in Capricorn for you by the end of this year. So New Year's Eve, New Year's Day looks like things will start to take shape and form for you. So that is what I have for you lovely Capricorns. Many blessings to you all. Happy holidays. We will see you soon. Thank you for tuning in.